Okay, obviously it's windy. It's about 6.30 in the morning on the 7th of May, 2022. It blew all night. I don't think it slowed down at all. Uh, forecast today is between 15 and 20 mile an hour winds all day. Clouds are starting to come in. Tomorrow is supposed to be sunny, but the same wind, so there's no sense in waiting another day. I guess I'm gonna load up and do my best. It's, when you got that kind of wind, now at least it's a straight on headwind. So it's not gonna blow you off the road, it's just gonna keep you from going. If you got a hard side wind, it really messes with you. So I'm gonna make a couple changes to how I rigged up the side solar panel. The, um, I, don't, I guess I edited that out. I don't think I put that on on the last video. Well, when I was coming in here a couple days ago, it was the first time I had rode in the wind with this new setup. And to keep the panels from flapping around, I tied pieces of PVC pipe to the edge of the panel to stiffen it up, which did seem like it helped a lot. But the wind pushed the panel over a little bit. There's only a little gap between the, the sidewall of the trailer and the, that little tire. So it was just kind of bulging it out just enough that the pipe hit the tire and I didn't notice it for a while so it wore about halfway through the pipe but didn't seem to damage the tire which was interesting so those little tires are pretty hard I guess. Anyway, uh, it didn't seem like it hurt the tire but you know that was lucky. Uh, so I changed it around a little bit so I've got some more hose clamps so I'm going to try hose clamping the solar panel uh, and the pipe down to the framework just because I can get it tighter than the, I could get with a string so We'll try that thing is when you're going straight into the wind that edge of the panel is going to be right into the wind And it's going to want to pull out so Yeah, I don't know it's, Do our best to monkey rig it. I guess it's I can't do anything the right way anymore with how I've got things set up here. So Yeah I like the comment somebody mentioned maker spaces in California. That's that's a possibility. Um, I don't know how they work with a one day, you know, one day visit. The ones I saw had like a membership and a, you know, subscription service and everything. And uh, it may be the best option we have though. So yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just, I don't know, it, it bugs me because I spent so much time do it, trying to do a good job on the last one and now here I am, you know, back to haywire basically, so, yeah, anyway, uh, it's another half an hour till sunrise it looks like. It's really not that cold, but the wind is just annoying, you know, it's, that's, I think that's going to be the word for the day here is just, everything's just annoying, it's not life threatening, it's just like getting pecked by ducks or something. All the little stuff is adding up, so. If I stayed in the trees, it's not bad, but I'm not gonna just sit here. You know. It was nice for a day. Now I'm done with it, so we'll push on and do our best. I always feel better when you're moving, right? It's about 9 o'clock. I'm in some tall trees. I'm just going around the end of the lake. Then we'll hit the headwind. So, 
Just wanted to remember that there was a couple miles that were not awful. Yeah, gotta love trees. Alright, here we go. I gotta say, I'm surprised. With as low as the lake is, I didn't expect this to be running. They must be dumping on the other side. There's two dams, and I guess they're building the other side. So, it must be letting it flow out, because the, the first dam, the one I was closest to when I was taking the pictures, it's above the water line. Or, like there's, you can see the ground. <laughs> At the, at the base of the dam even. So this is gonna be cool. So I'm gonna be, today and tomorrow, I'm gonna be riding along this, so there should at least be some water beside me. That's very encouraging. National Forest Land, welcome. Please close the gate. Four by four trail. That's a little bit above my bicycle abilities today, I think. It just goes straight up. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. This is some pretty serious country here. Yeah, honestly, 30 years later, I kind of remember the terrain, but not, not very well. I don't know if this used to be a four lane or not. I think parts of it were. It's nice. All right, I bought some Snickers a while ago. I figured I might as well eat one. I don't think it got out of the 70s today. But at least the wind is dying down. 
Not getting much for solar though. Might still peak out. Tomorrow's supposed to be sunny again. So I figure I got, it's 2.30 now. I want to stop before Bakersfield. That's about 20 miles away. So if I ride till 3 or 3.30, find a little place I can tuck out of the way. That'll be good enough. And then probably won't get much charge, but I, if I can maintain some battery, I'm not doing too bad right now. So, man, this morning was rough. I had a few times it blew me right off the road. Like actually there was a curb, like there was a curb that just kind of like, it was a gradual up, not a really sharp up. I had both bicycle wheels and one of the trailer wheels up on the curb before I even could catch my balance. Just the wind was trying to blow me right off the road. Crazy. I do have to say though, this trailer is doing better in the wind. Well, it's different, right? I don't feel the wind hitting this trailer, whereas the other trailer, I felt the wind trying to tip me over because it was attached up high. This one being down low and with the way the hitch is, the trailer could flop right over and I wouldn't knock the bike over probably. I mean, I would notice it, but yeah, it's just completely different feeling, so, which is good, you know. Yeah, I don't know, I think probably the next one will be more like this, but probably bigger, maybe. I don't know, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, this is probably dark gray. <laughs> So it's a it's a off let's see. It's labeled as day use only. The gate at the top was closed and locked. Motorized vehicles not allowed. Non-motorized vehicles welcome. So I'm looking at it and I'm like, the way the gate was set up, if I tipped the bike a little bit, I rolled right under the gate. So I'm like, okay, step one. Non-motorized vehicles welcome. <laughs> Step two, it's still a day use only. Uh, also, both restrooms are locked, unfortunately. So, there's that. Uh, I'm running out of power and it's been really cloudy, but I'm getting a little bit. Um, there was another turnoff that I saw on the map 10 miles further down the hill. And then a little bit more, and then we get into Bakersfield. So I wanted to stop before Bakersfield and uh, camp. Man, look at this. This is the first nice, what's the word? The first time it's been nice all day. The wind finally stopped. I'm down in the shelter here. I think it's still blowing up on top, but down here it's not. So this is just beautiful. This is the way it's supposed to be. This is what I expected to see more of on my bike touring. Not risking death every time I go on a narrow shoulder and fighting headwinds and freezing my butt off at night. It's beautiful right now. Why couldn't this happen more often? This almost makes up for all the Times I woke up crabby and pissed off. So this is the Kern River. They do rafting on here. And from what I'm what I can figure, like the lake is really low. So it looks like they're actually just dumping water in to keep the river flowing. And they're just letting the lake go empty. That's what it seems like is on where I was camped on the opposite end, like the inflow side of the lake, there was no water coming into the lake at all. Yeah, this is weird. So where is this water coming from? Knowing California, they're probably pumping this water from the bottom back up to the top. They just brought the Disney engineers in. That is nice. So while at the lake, 
I did patch one of the tubes and I pumped up the other two and they both seem like they held air again. So I might bring those down here to the water because it was so windy at the lake I just didn't even want to mess with it. So yeah, it was like the water was so murky where I was and it was so windy that it was like it was a challenge to sit there and hold the tube underwater and look for bubbles. You know, just like you just didn't even want to mess with it. So I got one done. The other two I think I'm gonna just say are slow leakers and I could probably slime them and they'd be okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna chill for a while. Well, okay, I guess we'll say that's it for today. Um, I stopped a bit early. It's actually still before 4 o'clock. I don't think I'm going to get a whole lot of sun. But whatever, you know. Get what we can. Uh, yeah. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching the videos and all your comments and all your support. Um, at the end of the video, I'll put some pictures up and also some maps and stuff like that. So check that out if you're interested. And there's a link to the website that has uh, all of the contact me information. And if you're interested in supporting the mission, the 22 states for the 22 veterans that are committing suicide every day, um, definitely check out the website. There's a lot more information about that. Uh, the link is down in the description, but I'll also put it up on the end of the video. And uh, or you can just click on the join or the super thanks. So down below the video, there'll be a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that. And then near that is a heart button if you want to give me a one-time donation. Very much appreciated. That's what keeps the wheels rolling right now. Um, or you can join the members program. Just click, look for the join button down there somewhere. There's a few different levels of membership you can join. Uh, again, that uh, just keeps the wheels rolling. and. Uh, it really does help a lot, so thank you very much. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.